In this Inkscape video, I'll be demonstrating how to use a bitmap image along with Inkscape's clip function to create the image that you see here. I'll be using Inkscape version 0.48. I'm going to start by moving this out of the way to give myself some space to work. Now the first thing that I'm going to do is import a bitmap image. And I can do that by going to the File menu, and then I select Import. And then here I can choose the file that I want to import. And then I'm going to leave this on the default of Embed and say OK. And this is the bitmap image that I'm going to be working with. So I'll just go up here and press on the selection tool and then drag this into position here. And now what I want to do is make a copy of this. And so I do that by pressing Control D, which creates a duplicate of this image. And then I'm going to go up to the filters menu and select image effects and then go down here and select pencil and this transforms my bitmap image into an image that looks like it was traced out with a pencil and for now I want to move this image to the bottom so I'm going to go up here and press this button that lowers the selection to the bottom and this allows me to display my original image on top the next thing that I'm going to do is go down to the circle tool here and I'm going to draw a circle and I'm going to hold down the control key while I'm drawing this so that I get a perfect circle and then I'll go up to the select tool here press that and then just position this a little better here okay then next I'm going to create some text. So I'm going to go over to the text tool here and press that. And I'm just going to type out the word Inkscape. And I wanted a nice bold font. And so I've selected Rockwell Extra Bold. Then now I'll go up to the select tool again and press that. And then I'm going to rotate this text 90 degrees counterclockwise. And so I'll press this button right here. And then I'll just drag this text up to the top here where I want it. And then resize it. And then I'm going to change this text to yellow. And this will just be temporary. And now I want to create a shadow background underneath this text. So I'm going to press Control D to duplicate this text. And then I'm going to change its color to black. And so now I'm going to move it down just one level so it's just right underneath the yellow text. And so I'll do that by pressing this button right here. And then with it still selected, I'm going to hold down both the Shift and the Control key and I'm going to drag on this corner arrow here and just size this up a little bit. And by holding down both the Shift and the Control key while I resize this, it lets me resize both edges of this at the same time. So now I want to blur this black background a little bit. So I'm going to go up to the Object menu and select the Fill and Stroke dialog box. And then using this blur slider right here, I'm going to slide that over a little bit and add just a little bit of a blur. And then I want to do the same thing for the circle here. So I'm going to select the circle, then press Control D to duplicate it, change its color to black, move it down just one level so that it's underneath the yellow circle and then while holding both the shift and the control keys I'm going to drag on this right corner arrow here and resize it make it a little bigger and then I'll go over here to the blur slider 
and add a little bit of a blur to it. Okay, next I'm going to go over to the yellow text and I'm going to left click on it to select it. And now while holding down on the shift key, I'm going to click the yellow circle and that lets me select both the text and the circle at the same time. And then I'm going to group these together by using this button right here. And next, I'm going to go over here to the right and click on my background image. And then I'm going to move it completely up to the top by using this button right here. And then I'm going to use this button and move it down just one level. So now it's just right underneath the yellow text in the yellow circle. And then while holding the shift button, I'm going to click on the yellow circle and since the yellow circle is grouped with the text it actually selected both of these at the same time and then I'm going to go up to the object menu and select clip and set and what that did was clip out of the image that I had the section that was covered by both the yellow text and the yellow circle and then directly beneath it was the shadow background that I added for both the circle and the text. And beneath that was the bitmap image. So this is an easy technique that you can use to produce some interesting effects. Well, thanks for watching. And please subscribe and leave a comment. Have a great day.